This voltage regulator, after some power supply, the household power went off and came back on, started to give some problems. If you look at it. So that noise is on the over voltage section. And I think that that seems to be a relay that is trying to latch. So I'll have to open it and check it out. So I've opened up the voltage regulator and as you can see it consists of a multi-tap transformer. And each of the taps goes to a particular relay. So there are three relays on this um, to boost, uh, to lower or buck the current. Um, the voltage, sorry. There are some varistors here on the circuit board. I will be taking the circuit board out and looking more closely at these. And my initial thought is that something is interfering with the latching voltage on the coil of these relays. So it might be something to do with that. So one of the relays is driven by this transistor here, an NPN transistor. Um, as we'll see, it produces spikes. The base of the transistor dry, um, is driven by the IC, a quad or pump IC. <coughs> and I've put in some pins here, some soldered connections to check. When I check the IC, the output of the IC uh, on pin 14, I see that it is pulsing. So let us see that. So you see that it is pulsing on the oscilloscope. And hence that would lead me to suspect maybe it is a capacitor that is bad or it is probably a diode or it could be the IC itself that is faulty. Pin 14 on this IC controls the relay. <coughs> One of these relays, this first relay here. Um, the thing is this is just a quad up amp IC and there are no inputs on pin 13 and pin 12, that is the fourth up amp. There's even no differential signal, so with no differential signal, there should not be any pulsing on the output of the fourth up amp, that is on pin 14. So the IC could also be suspect here too. So as we saw, there was some ripple on the power supply of the LM. 324 IC and uh, tracing the power supply I saw this capacitor in the circuit so I'm trying to test in circuit the capacitor because that ripple is preventing the chip from actually giving a clean signal so most likely it is a capacitor that is bad and I'm testing it here in circuit it's not a very good test but um, it could give you an idea of the capacitor. So here we see the capacitor charging up with one orientation of polarity and it's again charging up when I reverse the polarity. It, it is saying that the capacitor is charging however because of other circuit components now this is supposed to charge and I'm supposed to lose it's supposed to go to no conduction However, other components could cause that. So this is probably a faulty capacitor. And um, I'll have to change it out. In addition to that, I'm seeing another capacitor here which was given a similar type of um, issue charging up in both ways. And none of them actually go into open circuit. So it's telling me that the capacitor is probably leaky. Um, however, I have a... Uh, uh, another capacitor here which is out of circuit and it seems to be charging in one direction 
when I put it in the other direction I will get a brief minus sign there and then it will charge in the other direction however all of these capacitors when they go to full charge are supposed to go to open circuit if you leave them long enough so I'm testing the suspected capacitor let's see what it tests like it's testing like a diode so definitely this capacitor was bad I will change it out and see if the device works yeah. so I've replaced the suspect capacitor with another one 330 microfarad 35 volts instead of 25 volts the higher the voltage for capacitors the better so let's see what happens I'm turning the circuit on and the circuit works. If we look at the scope here we see much less ripple and the ripple remember we saw the capacitor tested as a diode previously the ripple was what was interfering with the power supply on the circuit so I'll turn it on again let's see right so the circuit works now so let's see if our circuit works now we can see that the circuit works so changing the capacitor which provided the power for the LM324 cord up amp was the problem so thanks for watching